here we are again working on another Pitco design disaster. As you can see, this one was made in 20. It's uh, 2023, by the way. It's like October. And naturally, I don't know, Pitco, are you paying attention to any of this shit? You see, it leaks up here. I don't know why it's got a gap here. It's got a giant gap over here, and this is why they called me, because it's leaking here, or there's oil leaking all over the floor. Of course, naturally, it's a pit killer. That's what it does. It's leaking here. I don't know, there's obviously no sealant here. And let's go around to the back of the thing and see that there's no surprise here. Oh yes, oh yes. The famous, what is it now, $600 hose leaking all over the place? Pitco, I'm going to come out with one word about your equipment. Guess what that word is, and it begins with the letter S. Way to go, Pitco. You suck. So, you'll see that it's dry here. It isn't leaking oil here. It's leaking oil from the back of the thing. On the back of the thing because there isn't any sealant on these threads. I'm guessing Pitco figures since it's not in the vat or you know it, it just doesn't matter we don't need sealant here. Well guess what Pitco this is your shit right here and yes you do need sealant here. This is your problem. Fix it because I'm about sick of fixing it. So do you see this? It's called Teflon tape or thread tape. It does miracles to keep stuff from leaking. And this here, it comes with the pump and the motor kits. I got plenty of them in surplus. And hey, Pitco, it's also called sealant. You put it around the thread tape and then you screw the thing back in and magically it doesn't leak anymore. It's a miracle. So if any of you have watched the YouTube video that Pitco put out where the guy disassembles the strain pipe by undoing this thing, because you have to have this special tool that Pitco makes, right? But they only put like one, two, three, four welds on it, and it'll eventually just bend. It's made of like three or four pieces that are uh, welded together. So I had to have my weld shop put a whole bunch of more tacks into it. Because I do this a lot, obviously, because they all leak, so they all need fixing. So anyway, once you get this thing apart, if you've seen the video, he takes it out and it slides right in and out to put it back together. But when it's dirty, that doesn't work. So the first thing you must do if you're going to disassemble it is clean the thing or you're not going to be able to get this piece to slide back out and engage this one and lock it up. Now another thing is um, they don't do any lubricant in here. If you're unfamiliar with it, there is a... Uh, Teflon to a Teflon and an O-ring, a Viton O-ring. You can get these for like two bucks from McMaster Car. Don't ever pay Pitco prices for the things. I forget what number it is. But um, I'll, I'll reassemble it with some food grade Lubrafilm. I've had this tube forever. And you know, that way they can just slide in and out really nicely. And my customer will be happy and all of this will come to an end. And I still got to get him a hose to deal with the back end of this thing. So um, I'm done here for today.